Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So we will learn some more important concepts in the Angular animations before concluding this. So for example, let's say that I will take a simple example. Here I will create a new uh, component with the name card. Let's create it. So by the time we will go to the app routing.module.ts file and here I will create a new routing path. So it's a new concept. So there is nothing but a query concept. Why we use this query thing? And here it is a card. Then we need to load the component. Card component. Okay. This should be imported. So we don't have any, it's didn't created. I think let it create. It will take some time. Yeah. Card component is created. Now I will, I will load. So I will import this card component. Let's go to the card component.ts file. So here I will open card.component.ts file and card.component.html file. Most of the time we'll work in these two things only. Now, if you go to the slash card, we'll move to the slash card here. This is a card works fine. So here I will be using a simple card. So here we'll be having a div class is equal to row. And in this one, we'll have dot call iPhone MD iPhone eight offset hyphen I can say dot offset hyphen md hyphen 2 so we'll have like this and in this one I can have a button <coughs> button show card show card and for this one we'll have a class like ptn btn hyphen primary Let's have this card and we'll see we are able to see this card file and we'll have something like m by hyphen five. Now let's go into here and I can have one HR. And here I'll be having one card due class is equal to card. Okay, so this is the card which I will be using. So this is our card and in this one we'll have a card header due class is equal to card hyphen header and in this header I can have this is card header I can have a content like this and we have an another one mm, due class is equal to card iPhone body and in this one I will add some Lorraine ipsum and at the last we'll have due class is equal to card iPhone footer so this is our footer this is the footer fine so this is, these are the three things which we will be having. Now let's go into this one. So this is our card. Now let's try to add some animation to this one. Sliding X, translating X and uh, translating X, sliding uh, horizontally. Let's go to card component.ts file. And here we will be having an animations. I will write animations here only. Animations of, so here we can have a trigger. Trigger of what I can say, card trigger. I will use the card trigger. And this should be imported from the angular slash animations as we already know. And here we will be having two transitions. One is transition upon enter. Okay. So this is a transition upon enter. So we will have this transition upon enter. Now um, here we can have a style. Okay. So that should be opacity of zero. So this should be opacity of zero and here I can have transform of translate X of 100%. I will use X of 100% which should be in a string mm, like this. I will keep it and this should not be semicolon Yeah, here and style should be imported and at the last I will try to animate it of 300 milliseconds. That's it. So animate also should be imported fine and now next we will have a transition another type of transition that is transition on leave. So we need to write on leave also on leave. So we will have the animate of 300 millisecond oh sorry 300 millisecond and here we can have a style or otherwise opacity zero and we'll have a transform of 
translate x of minus 100 percent fine so why is this one is coming okay this should be under style or otherwise what i can say is not style animate hey yeah, sorry sir this should be in style only already we have added the style right mm, yeah fine everything looks fine fine right so now we have applied this animation this is a transition so now what we need to do we need to apply this one to the trigger so here in our card.html so here we need to have a trigger so add it card trigger i need to apply trigger now we need to have a variable so we'll try to have one variable so that when i click on this show panel when i when i click on this show card so this one should hide and it needs to appear reappear again for this one what i need to do i will go to the ts file and here i will create a variable that is show card show card is equal to true so this is the show card and i will use this one here um, for the button upon clicking on this button this should be oh sorry upon clicking on this button this should be show card is equal to not of show card so i am toggling this variable now here i am adding a condition hey, what has happened yeah here we have to use this one so upon toggling in this one so that means i need to use an ng if condition so when this show card is there then only we need to show it that's it guys so now we have created it so what we have did it we have created a new component and here i have used a simple show card variable and here i am having a button so that on click on this button i am toggling this show card and here we are having a simple card which contains of a card header card body and also a card footer so this is a header body and footer which which is the bootstrap uh, css classes automatically the styling will be appear and here i am adding a condition that if the show card is there means then we need to show it or otherwise we need do we not don't want to show it so if i don't apply this trigger so then what will happen let's see so here if you see the output if i click here show card and it will appear and reappear so instead of having it like this we need to do an animation which we have learned it earlier so i am applying a course trigger which i have already written the code in this animation so we are using a trigger enter and leave that is nothing but white to star and star to white so here we are having an animation that is nothing but initial phase i am making at opacity 0 and translate x of 100% and we are making it so now let's try to see so if i click here so it will go away if i click here it will come back so this is a simple animation i have did it now fine so this animation we already uh, learned it so we have did it now what i want to do is i want to control only this header part so this animation has to appear and after this animation completed so this card header has to come from the top so if you want to control individual parts of this uh, element or otherwise in this card element if you want to handle header body footer like this if you want to handle individual parts how we can do it so one thing we can do it is so we can add a different different triggers for the different types so for a card header we can add a trigger for card body we can add a trigger and card footer also we can add a trigger and we can create a transitions for that one but because this will become a clumsy or something like a complex it will become so in angular we have a concept called as a query concept so this is just like a document dot query selector which we will be using in the javascript so same like that we have a query so we can query the individual parts of the element the child elements we can query it and we can do the animations so we'll try to do it in the next video so this is a simple example for this one if you want to control each part each each child element in this one animation if you want to have a different type of animation means when then then we need to use the query uh, method so we'll try to do it in the next video what i will do is so the up to here i will commit this code so video hyphen 45 video hyphen 45 and here this is one is simple card component so i have designed it so let's commit this all the code in this one and i am publishing this branch so whoever may be having a doubt or anything if they want to refer to this one means so they can go to my github repository url so in the angular animations i am providing this one so here whatever the video you are watching you can go to that particular video branch and you can refer to the code what i am trying to explain in the video hope you understood about this card animation and all the things so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you